I'm about to show you how to make the most amazing cookie from Cookie Week. Oh, that's good. Every year I live for Cookie Week. And this year, watching this cookie come together, I knew I had to make it. First, the flavors and like the, I could just smell it through the TV. I was, I mean, just like completely infatuated with the cookie. Everything in my body said, you have to make this. So I did. And here we are. You first start off with one large egg, mixing in your butter and cardamom, clove, cinnamon, as well as the sugar and I added some brown sugar. Like I said, I live for the recipe, but I had to make it my own, so we adjusted a little bit. I then added my vanilla extract and beat everything together. Mix it up, baby. That's what you want to do. From there, I added the two cups of flour. Oh, and I probably forgot to mention, but I zested three oranges. It said two, but I knew I just wanted more flavor. Don't forget to put a pinch of salt in there, as well as to put a pinch of baking powder. From there, I just continue to mix it, took it out, put it on to parchment paper, and rolled it out from there. I got these really cute cookie cutters from Zara Home, and I was dying to use them. So you'll see me take them out in a minute. It didn't really pan out how I thought it would. <laughs> um, I What I'll say to you is make sure you put this in the fridge to rest because the butter started to just make everything really soft. And you can see the cookie cutters just like sticking there. So I ended up putting it back in the fridge and then taking it out, putting it back in. My kitchen was so hot. It was really difficult to do this. So I recommend put it in the fridge for a while. I'm saying like 30 minutes, one hour. Make sure your dough is super, super hard because only a few of these came out. And there I am. I'm showing you. They're so cute. Also, oh my God, I forgot to mention. These are supposed to hang on your coffee mug. I tested it out afterwards. It works. So go to Zara Home. Get these cookie cutters because they're super cute. But if I'm being honest with you, what worked the best is just using one of the lids from my mason jars. It cut out the perfect cookie. It was the best size. And that's what you saw me eating in the beginning of the video. It was just amazing. So after you're finished cutting all of the cookies, you're going to then peel off the rest of the dough, get your cookies out, and put them onto another piece of parchment. They're going to go in a 350... See, this is where I had to put it back in the fridge. They're going into a 350-degree oven. Oh, I was cooking a chicken in the background, so don't mind me. And these are my final product. I think they're so cute and so perfect, and you have to try them. Bye! Oh! I've gone.